Oh, Danny boy. The Danny boys are Danny boys. Dan! It's me. Hello. I'm Fizz. And I'm gonna crush you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this team that I've built for you this week. I'm gonna shove it down your face! Into your stomach. And then it will explode out your tummy. Like that scene... And I, I don't remember which Leprechaun movie, but it was in a Leprechaun movie, and he wished for the Leprechaun's pot of gold, and he's like, All right, dude, I gave you the pot of gold. Boom. He gave it in his tummy, and then it, boom, exploded. Anyways, this week, Dylan spits hot fire again with a lonely nature and a lot of attack. With this set, a flare blitz from Dylan spitting hot fire. Um, he will be able to, um, knock out a Sylveon. Easy peasy, one hit knockout. No rocks required, no nothing. Just straight up, boo-boo. Um, it's a pretty good set. Um, uh, Fire Blast, um, actually Oko's the Aggron, so I still get that threat. Solar Beam, um, lets me hit the Quagsire, and Blastoise should it come. And at one point, I had HP Ice just for, for, um... Salamence, but I was like, nah, nah. I think Roost is better. I can Roost on his team a little bit more. Um, I think tying with base 100s on Dan's team, it's too risky for me. So I, I, uh, I tone it down a little bit and and EV down to match to beat some other things on his on his team. Um, now again this week, I'm bringing the full defensive. Nuh. cause 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 can you do damage? Nuh. Stealth Rocks, Pursuit, Protect, Ice Beam. Protect is a neat move, actually, this week. Um, because, here, let me show you why. Um, Stealth Rocks, yes. Sand, yes. Next guy, Please Cliss. Um, Toxic Spikes, yes. Um, th these moves were huge against Dan. Um, getting those hazards up. Um, it was absolutely ginormous. Instrumental to my victory, even. So I plan on doing it again. Protect will allow me to get uh, more damage for my buck. Fire Blast uh, will do a ton to Aggron in the, in the sun. Um, Will-O-Wisp will burn it, and Pain Split will Pain Split it. Um, and then I brought El Guapo this week, um, the elusive El Guapo, who doesn't see much playtime, but when he does, normally he puts up, he, he does big things, unless we're trying to set up belly drums, then it's, it, he does small things, but otherwise, big things. This week, Super Fang, Leech Seed, Spiky Shield, Roar, Roar seems out of place, counterintuitive, wrong, um, Salamence is really good, and I don't like it, can't do anything to it, um, with Chestnut. Um, should it come in, I'd like to roar it out if it's going to set up, uh, because uh, Dragon Nets and Salamence is bad. Um, so along with Tox Spikes and Stealth Rocks and Sand, Leech Seed is also pretty good. Uh, we're going to wheel this team down and get him in range for my heavy punch punch hitters um, to come in and sw I'll sweep it up. Clean it up, baby. Um, we're going full special defensive on Chestnut. Why? Jolteon is a thing, and it can take Jolteon moves, including HP Ice. So, 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 so well. So, so well. I love it. Um, who did we skip? The middle two. Let's do it. The Machine Gun. Carl Anderson. Helisk with a Life Orb and Solar Power doing mass damage. He's got Golurk, so that's why Dark Pulse is there. Otherwise, it looks stupid. I'm not stupid. Color can be a problem. Hyper Voice is uh, really, really good. It's mine subs. You saw that earlier this season. Focus Blast is going to maim and destroy Mega Aggron and Volt Switch. Hopefully, will give me some um, advantages and keeping momentum and things like that. It's going to be nice to come in, hit and run, that kind of thing. And the Win Con Choice Scarf. G -g -g Garchomp. Gallows with rough skin. Earthquake, outrage, poison jab, dragon claw, two dragon stabs, two dragon dads. We are going to knock out that Sylveon, I guarantee it. And then we will be free to outrage dragon claw, do whatever I want. Earthquake is really good. Um, he does have things like Uxi, which makes it bad. Um, the thing about Garchomp is um, you kind of have to be careful with it against Dan because. He has like immunities for every, for actually every move that I have on Garchomp. 
<laughs> there's no safe move for me to pick so when i pick a move i have to be very meticulous about which move i'm going to pick i have to predict it well and i think i will earthquake generally is mwah, beautiful against him um but i gotta be careful about dragon moves or poison jab um Poison Jab should be able to two-hit KO Sylveon, um, and otherwise, I should just be fast, be good, be strong. Speaking of being strong and being good, Dan, Dan, we finally made it was destiny that we meet. It was destiny that we meet again. And this week, you will go down, I will destroy you, I will win. This week will be the last week for the Rampardos. The last week. I will have destroyed them. I will have retired you. I am on a warpath. And I will not stop until every GBA member has a big red X over their name. And written underneath is retired by Lucha. Now you guys may think, oh, but Dan, Dan's the greatest. Dan's the best. Dance, fantastic. And you know what I'd say to you? I'd say, you sound like an idiot with a really high voice. But, but, but Dan. And I'd say, but Dan is going to get his head chopped off by a land shark named Garchomp. Yes, this is real life. Every week, I legitimately see six Pokemon in front of me go to battle with six more on the other side of, on, on the other side. There's a line in the middle, they're on the other side of that line, and they go to war. Legitimately, I see this, and I will see it again. It's weird, because every week, the other guy dies, and somehow next week they're back to, to life. It's almost like if it's a hallucination. But the only hallucination that matters... No, wait. There is no hallucination. There is only hallucination. Yes. Fizz train never stops. There is no breaks. And the final destination is championship. <laughs>